How's it going guys? Welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be drawing a derpy pug. I figured why not. <laughs> Should be a quick video. Should only take about, give or take, five or so minutes. So let's get started. Welcome back to another video. I'm your host, Mr. Mill, and let's get started with drawing. So here's the supplies, really simple. There's only five things that we need. Actually, sorry, six. So we're gonna start off with a pencil first, and let's get the generic shape of what we're gonna be drawing first of all. So I'm just gonna draw a nice lumpy piece of uh, rock, I guess. So it's kind of like, it looks like a shape of, um, I don't know, kind of like an oval, but then it's like flattened on the bottom. And I'm drawing super light because I don't want to erase too much later on. Um, and also so it's easy to erase just in case if I mess up so you should guys should always learn how to draw a little bit lighter than usual uh, so it's easier to erase uh, so that way um, there's not so much dark lines later on and also it's just a good habit to do when sketching so as you can see as I'm getting more confident of where I want to place things I'm drawing a little bit darker you see in that one foot and I'm going down towards the bottom and I'm gonna do the other foot and the other foot on the left hand side is gonna be angled ever so slightly here we go. It's getting angled towards us a little bit compared to the other foot, just to give it more of a kind of like facing at an angle. So I'm gonna bring, bring the side of the body up, same angle. Uh, pugs, when you see them, they're kind of like kind of like chubby. And then I'm gonna have the hands, the front hands, kind of <laughs> kind of just like little little cylinders. Okay, one facing inwards, and then this other one facing uh, inwards as well. Uh, if you want, you can face them just pointing straight down, even more simple than this. Uh, I'm going to draw the bottom part of his chin. So this is going to be shadowed. And then I'm going to start drawing the ear. And if you look super closely at this video, you can see the top portion of where I drew the head. So I'm using it as a reference. So I'm going to draw the other ear on the other side. Okay, there we go. And it's going to loop around. Just like that. There we go. Very simple. All right now, I'm gonna draw that kind of like weird snout that the pugs have. Okay, and the nose is gonna be super, super high for this nice cartoony effect. I'm gonna try to around the corners, and this whole entire area where I'm drawing right now, this little triangle, is gonna be completely dark. Okay, I'm gonna draw the head a little bit higher. Have that kind of like a membrane type of head with like a lot of wrinkles. But I'm just gonna do one wrinkle. There we go nice oval flat nose and I'm just gonna draw kind of like a, a triptych sign there you go a little triangle it's gonna be pointed super far down because remember it's a derpy pug three simple dots then very large eyes so here's one eye there you go and then I'm gonna draw the pupil it's gonna be super big almost outside the actual circle so you guys know it's actually popping out almost. Okay, and then I'm gonna draw the other eye. Almost the same as the other one, but it's gonna be facing the completely opposite direction for that nice derpy effect. Okay, I'm gonna draw two highlights as well. And we're basically done with pencil work. And we just need to clean it up with a kneaded eraser. The reason why I like kneaded eraser is because you just mold it every single time it gets dirty. So I'm just gonna erase a little bit so it doesn't smudge onto my markers so that's this preserves the life of the markers and also um, it makes your drawing a little bit more cleaner so right now um, I'm using another skin, skin tone marker and you'll notice later on uh, I have to throw this marker away because it's starting to die and as we go slow I'm gonna speed it up right about now okay as you can see <laughs> as I color further and further on uh, the markers start to give way um, so I probably need to buy another one of these, if not a different pack. And I'll try to cover as much as I can. Um, a simple trick, if you have some uh, sort of like water soluble or alcoholic base, you can dip it in there. Maybe isopropyl alcohol, and it'll re, uh, refill the marker until it's completely dead. Uh, so right now I'm going back with the nose and the ears with this kind of like sepia color. And then I'm gonna move on straight to the black because we're basically done with all the color. You see, I'm outlining the eyes and the nose with those highlights. Okay, all done with those parts. And then I'm gonna outline him with um, another skin tone, kind of darker skin tone 
for some shadows. There we go. I'm going to add a shadow beneath him. Speaking of shadows, there we go. And then one more outline with the skin tone again around his whole entire body. And uh, we're basically done. It was a pretty simple drawing today. <laughs> it's kind of funny looking, but I like it. Uh, so these are all the materials I used, um, plus a pencil. As you can see, it's rolling away. Um, so I'm going to use this for a little quick snapshot, uh, snapshot for the thumbnail. There we go. Ching! There we go. I like that snapshot right there. And that's basically it. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys want to see more, check these videos over here. And as always, see you guys in the next one. Have a good one.